Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the 7 inch TFT LCD color display from the Dewin technology. Currently, the Dewin displays are very, very popular in market as they are manufacturing so many HMI displays. HMI means human machine interface. So, Dewin is specialized in manufacturing HMI display which is compatible with all microcontrollers including Arduino, STM32, Peak, 8051 and others. So this is the getting started tutorial with Dewin display. In this tutorial we will learn all about the Dewin display like port design specification. We will learn about the GUI interface and the method to load the firmware in this Dewin display. This is just a getting started tutorial. There will be so many videos after this like I will be making a series of video on this display related to how to create a GUI and how to interface it with Arduino and so many sensors. But today it is just a getting started tutorial videos and we will be looking the overall view about this display and then we will be loading a factory demo firmware where you can see how the GUI looks. So here is the demo of GUI. So that is all I want to show you in this video. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium. Altium Designer is the world most trusted PCB design system for the last 35 years. Using Altium Designer, you can create a schematic, create PCB, generate garner files and also make a bill of materials. You can create PCB design with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to the every aspect of electronics design process. If you want to get started with a free trial, click on the first link in the description. Welcome back again. Now let's learn about this display unit. So this is a 7 inch TFT LCD display from Dune Technology. It has a dimension of 7 inch. You can get this display with 4.3 or 7 inch dimension. At the back of the display, there are all the display drivers and the modules and all the connectors for touch and the display features. So as you can see here, the name of this display is DMG80480C070 underscore 3WTC. So basically 8040 means it is 800 by 480 pixel resolution and it is T5L LCD module and this display operates at 4.5 volt to 5.5 volt DC. Here 70 means it is a 7.0 inch display size. W means white temperature and TC means touch capacity. Here is a connector for connecting the driver with the display unit. So this is basically a FCC connector and here is a touch unit. This is a touch IC which is used to enable touch function that is connected to the display. On the right side you can see there is a SD card slot which is used for uploading the firmware using the SD card. And here we have a UART port basically a 6 pin connector. So you can solder a 6 pin terminal here to interface with microcontroller via UART communication. This is a passive buzzer which uh, produces sound when you touch the display. On the left side of the PCB, this is a place for uh, connecting the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. You can connect a Wi-Fi module so that a communication with the server can be established where you can send or receive data. This is the HDL662B adapter board. This is basically a USB to TTL converter board. It will establish a UART communication or a serial communication with a computer. As you can see here, there are two jumpers. One jumper is the UART jumper which allows UART communication. It can be enabled disabled by pulling the jumper. And another is the power. When you connect this jumper, or the power will be enabled. This is FCC 1015A cable. This cable is used to connect the LCD display with HDL 662B board. Just pull this pin here and insert this FCC cable. The blue should be at the top of the side and then slide it so a connection is established. Now on the other end you need to connect it with the LCD display. Remember here again the blue part should be at the top side. Just slide 
push and then close it again. This is the male to male USB cable which is used to establish the connection between the LCD display and the computer. And we also had a micro SD adapter and a micro SD card of 16 GB. The maximum SD card size supported by this display is 16 GB. You can use this to upload the firmware. Now head towards the dewin-global.com. So here is the official website of the Dewin display. Here you can see there are so many tablets and so many displays you need with 5 inch, 3.5 inch, 8 inch or 10 inch size. Now in this website, go to the download option and then click on the factory demo. Here, search the name of the display. In our case, the display is DMG80480C070 underscore CWTC. So you can see our display is available here. So just click on download. So our factory demo firmware is downloaded. Now in the download folder, you need to extract these files. A folder has been extracted and here you can see a uh, three firmware at the bottom. WS means non-touch, means a touch is disabled here. WTC means a capacitive touch and the WTR means resistive touch. We have a WTC that is capacitive. Open the folder and here you will get two firmware. We need to copy this file to the SD card so that the firmware can be downloaded. Now connect the micro SD adapter to your PC. Here a USB drive G is found, basically this is a SD card which we inserted. Now to use this SD card, first we need to format it. So for formatting the normal command will not work. So for that go to the run and search for CMD that is we need to open command prompt. And here we need to type the following command. So it might take one minute and the SD card will be formatted with the requirement. So now the card has been formatted. Now copy the extracted file that I explained earlier. Copy this and then go to the USB drive C. Here create a folder like dwin, this should be capital, dwin underscore set. Remember this naming, any other naming or any other folder won't work while uploading the firmware. So this naming is very very important. Now just paste all the copied file here. So the SD card is ready to upload a firmware. Now remove the SD card from your computer and then insert this SD card on the back of the SD card slot. Now using the USB cable power the module. So the firmware downloading has been started. First it will download the CFG files, then bin file, SZ file and ICL files and all the files. Once all these files are downloaded, remove the power. And then remove the SD cards from the back of the socket. Now again power the display. So now you can see the firmware has been loaded successfully and a beautiful UI from the factory demo can be seen here. This is how we can use the TUN LCD display as a beginner's guide. When sliding, you will see so many options enable disable. You can create any type of GUI and any type of interface using this display. There is no need for programming and no need for any other external interfacing. The display also works with Arduino or any other controller. In coming videos, we will be discussing how we will be using this display with the Arduino to control some devices and also for receiving the external data. I hope you like this video. The complete description about this uh, LCD module and the purchase link is in the video description below. Just follow the guide. Thank you for so much for watching.